Sorry, we were linking up to the other dimension. We're here now. Yes. I am the doctor, Dr. Dream. Dream, 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 Dream. And she is Lady Zeitgeist. And together, we are, we will be, beginning of the year, you'll see us as a feature. We are, why, 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 would, 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 we, 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 Present, 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 present. Another radio play, audio play, 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
I do recall him saying that, uh, that, however, uh, it was a day the judge sentenced him to many decades in prison, thanks to me. Too bad he broke out, but a year ago, and he's not been seen since. <laughs> yes? behind Mrs. Watson. That's the bloke who pretended to be the chemist. He's the asshole who sold me that bottle of shite. Oh, please, allow me to introduce myself properly, Mrs. Watson. My name is Professor James Grash. Chuck, did you send a telegram to that chemist and warn him and be coming to see him in war? Why, uh, yes, by Joe, I did. Well, Sherlock, the king's bastard must have secretly been in contact with his fuckhead after he broke out of prison. The chemist assumed that he would pay him well for such a nickel. Is that all correct, Professor? Yes, unfortunately uh, for him. And, uh, Professor, you know, of course, that I never laid eyes on this chemist or your fucking self. <coughs> So you felt free to murder the chemist and wipe his body? Exactly, Miss Watson. Ah, then you personally prepared that bottle of shite that I purchased from you while you pretended to be this chemist. You figured that John, as a medical man, would be delivering his own child. So that potion over the next nine months created that black rainbow pussy smoke, am I correct? Correct, Mrs. Watson. As to the contents of that bottle, Sherlock, I learned that he has great knowledge of both science and black magic. It is true, Miss Watson, that I possibly know as much about science morality does. Unfortunately, he also knows a lot regarding black magic and the creation of certain strange powers, which admittedly I do not. Well, fortunately I do. Mrs. Watson, um, I did deduce that you are, in fact, perhaps a witch. Well, I'm a bit of a dabbler, the dog gods. Anyway, in honor of me dirt upon an husband, I wish to offer me services as your new official chronicler and assistant in the field. Well, I, I am <coughs> quite honored over your proposal. Pardon me, I am <coughs> so sorry to interrupt. Such as all his years, but prefer they do, I shall hand this butcher knife to Mrs. Hudson. Oh, what shall I do with this thing? Just start stabbing, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> I order you to. Uh, not to, do not worry, Mr. Holmes. He cannot make me do such a thing, a total thing. <laughs>
coats and the Lady Z zeitgeist in the black outfit, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Okay, as soon as they uh, unhook here, coming up to the stage next, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have one of our regulars, Rainbow. Thank you. 